Miss Nobel. Hello. Good to see you. Great to see you too. You're looking good. Thank you. you Who too. made the outfit? Uh, this is by Yawasewa. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you? Do you kind of have something to do with Yawasewa? Because I've been following your post on Instagram. I've seen you working. Yawasewa. Okay. Well, she's just one of my favorite designers. Mm. What do you think about Ghana's fashion industry lately? I think it's 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 growing. Mm. Everybody is trying to be fashionable. Right. People are understanding fashion in a better sense now that people don't just walk. Someone said uh, Ghana is a new Miami mm. where everybody dresses up every day. Like, yeah. So I think fashion is really moving. And then the good thing about it now is that we are patronizing our own. Right. Because our, our local designers are doing great. Aren't they? You wear this and then people don't even think it was bought. It was because the stuff they do are quality and they can match all these international standards. Yeah. Exactly. That we so love. It's up to us to patronize them because mm. the Dolce's and the Gabbana's, if mm. their people didn't accept them, mm. they wouldn't they be wouldn't where they are. They wouldn't have gone to where yeah, they are now. Yeah, yeah, so. Right. Now, Christopher, let me find out from you. How has the journey been for you so far? Well, for me, it's it's been a, a combination of a lot of things. But most importantly, it's been a learning process. Because every day, something new crops up. You deal with it, it makes you stronger, and then you learn and move forward. So that's how it's been. There's been challenges. Um, challenges from all angles. The market, uh, the producer. Even doing those movies at all? No, I don't regret. I don't regret because it was like a preparation They've for me. part of the learning experience. Yes, yes. So it was like getting me ready for when I get to the mm. better platform, like the bigger platform. So for me, it was like a learning process. Dealing with all of that, it's been challenging. It's not been smooth. It's not been rosy. There are days where you just go flat. You just go blank. But uh, you just think, I take it easy. Mm. And how would you describe the relationship between you and God? Uh, for me, God is the ultimate. Mm. God is the maker. And that's why I don't believe in stressing out. Because I feel like everything that's going to happen or that has happen. happened to me is something that is meant to by be. God. Mm. Yeah, so I, I believe God is everything. He's the reason behind everything. Well, is the principle mm. the kind of lady I would see in church every now and then every Sunday? Yeah, on Sundays I go to church. But most importantly, I pray every you day. Pray every yeah, day. so when there's a chance, I go to church. Sometimes being on set doesn't allow me, but anytime I'm, I'm free on Sundays, I have to go to church. So, would you say that you have that perfect relationship with him? Not perfect, I'm a sinner. <laughs> <laughs> We're all striving for perfection, aren't we? We're all striving for perfection. So, I, every, every day I ask for forgiveness, every day I pray to God. So yeah. I just try to have this communication because I believe he's there. So, and then when I talk to him, I see signs. Mm. So, I, I think God loves me. Let's talk about Miss Malaika. Let's retrogress a little. Was it something that you just wanted to do because you thought it was involved? Was it something that you just wanted to show off with? Um, Why did you even take the step to even step at the auditions for Miss Malaika? Um, I was yeah. in school when one of the, the beauty queens came in, you know, Marta, at okay. the time. She came to do a talk and I was like, okay, I can do this. And then I think I would love to do this, go, go around talking to youth. Mm. I think it will be a good thing to do. Mm. And then I said, we're going to take the chance. And I auditioned. It started like a joke. And I went for it because I thought I believed that I could do it. And I just felt like those are the things that I'm drawn to. Mm. Yeah. Entertainment, um, beauty parts. Exactly. Yeah, creative arts. It's not exactly entertainment. Yeah. But I had a belief that I should go for it. It, it can be a really Do you think that? You were you, you you were born to be a star, so let me just go after this. Or you just thought that it was a good platform to actually achieve something? Oh yeah, it's it was it's been a very good platform to achieve something. Because after that I got opportunity to uh, meet children living with mm. HIV, AIDS, donate to them, work with them, work for a while. And then so it, it, it was a it was a platform 
to achieve, to into modeling and even acting, and you know to, to be exposed, make go, make connections. It was a good platform for me, but not exactly a bound to be a style to show off beauty or something. How far did you go with that competition? Uh, I was the first runner. Okay. Yeah. That's um, second. Second. Yeah, okay. Second, yeah. Okay. So at the point when you were you were you were crowned as the first runner, yeah. do you think that that was it for you? I mean, of course, ultimately, everybody who enters a competition would want to win. Want to win, yeah. Well, uh, I wanted to win, but at that point, I was really surprised that, okay, okay. I, I, I've really come this far because I was just like an uh, SHS graduate. Who won in that year? Tamara. Okay. Tamara, yeah. So, uh, for me, it was a shock, and I, I couldn't believe I had come this far. I was like, okay, this little girl can do something. So, it was, it was a really good starting point for me, and from there, I just knew that. Talk about back then during Ma Miss Malaika and even when you were in school. What has the relationship been like ever since you ventured into acting, ever since you, you, you started playing an active role in the movie industry? What has your relationship been with the people you started life with, your friends, your yes. schoolmates, and all that? Yes, I try to stay in touch with friends, especially old friends from Marines, the new ones I made in Legon, uh, friends from the movie industry. Mm -hmm. Thing, modeling, yeah, I try to stay in touch, even though sometimes being busy keeps me away from friends and activities. But I try to attend weddings, parties, stuff like that. I keep in touch with my friends, especially close ones. You haven't shunned anybody just because you think you are now a star. No, I see them and then we still shout like mm. the, you do, but the, you know, the, mm. the way we hear ourselves when we meet, like, it's always been like that. Mm. It's just that making time to see people is very difficult. Mm. So I'm trying to do right now because. Yeah, Would you describe yourself as a very outgoing person, or you are rather reserved? I, I, I can be outgoing, I can be reserved. Some, yeah, it depends on the mood and where I am. Mm. Yeah, I can be reserved and I can be an extrovert. Mm. So when, when, when I'm with old friends, I, I can be silly, funny, mm. you know. And sometimes when I'm in the workplace, I can be reserved. Mm. Yeah, so I have the two sides. Mm. 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 Very interesting. But let's, let's, let's come back to work. You know, lately, I mean, I'm assuming that the higher you go in your career, the more selective you are going to be. Are, are you at the point where you're not just jumping on any movie set? Yes, yes, yeah. It's, it's, it's not even been at any point to me, I think. Has it always been the case? It, it hasn't always been the case. Because in the beginning, I know you might want to get some exposure. Exposure, I do. Uh, in the beginning, I, I used to do a lot of things, okay. yeah. But now I'm being more selective, okay. but, and I think it shouldn't be when you get to some point or something. You can be selective as you start, as you but start. It's, it's going to be more difficult. difficult. Yeah, so I'm just trying to select, but it's also difficult being selective mm. because you, it, it's it's very hard to take down roles or scripts without mm. offending the producer or even the writer, which we, you know, because of the nature of the industry, mm. we've all become friends exactly. and family. So. Mm. You're my buddy buddy. And, and it's a very small one too. It's a very, very small, small one too, where people talk. Yeah. So it's like you become my buddy and then me, my Christabel, like she rejected my movie, she, you mm. know, some people take it to heart, but it's not a personal yeah. thing. But it's about time we we do quality. Because Stop. we the face in the movies, we face the fans, mm. you know. You have you, you, you can relate. Exactly. You your, the fans talk to you about the movies. Mm. They don't mention who and who did the movie, they say, Oh, that your movie did. Yeah. They don't care about those in the background. No, 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 no. They don't care about those in the background all the time. Mm -hmm. Some people remember that it's your face they're seeing. So we always want to please the fans. Mm -hmm. It's about time we do more quality and more good stuff. Mm -hmm. What was your family's initial response to your wanting to be an actress? Well, uh, my mom raised me, right? I've been with my mom all my life. You know that? Yes, yes, but he doesn't live with us. Okay. So uh, for my mom, it, it wasn't a surprise because looking at how I started, I, I was so much into entertainment and school mm. at a point. Which school was it? St. Mary's Secondary okay. School. Yeah, I, like, it's a girls' school. At a point, I wanted to be an entertainment prefect. Mm. I sought her support and she really supported me and advised me. Did you get to be an entertainment prefect? Yeah, I was the head entertainment okay. prefect. That's nice. And then if, uh, after school, I went for Miss Malaika. She supported me as well. So getting into movies wasn't really like a surprise to her. So, a 
Beside your mother, how about you know your other family members? Do you have siblings at all? Yeah, I have two siblings. A boy and a girl. Boy and a girl. Okay. I'm the first. Okay. And um, they've all been supportive, but some of my aunties and uncles mm. and even my dad, he was a bit skeptical about it because yeah, he really he, he really believes in education. Mm. He doesn't want anything to distract my attention. Your attention. Exactly. So he kept saying, uh, focus on the school, focus on the school first, and. I was like, okay, I'll go out of the school, but I need to combine it because I really want this. It's so, wow, what is your current relationship with them? Yeah, everybody's supportive of me right now. Mm. My dad called me the other day, laughing that I'm watching your, I'm watching your movie. Mm. Yeah. To him, it's like funny because his little girl. Yeah, playing a role. Yeah, yeah doing yeah, one thing yeah. or the other. On doing TV. something on TV, and he just called me laughing. I'm watching your movie. But for my mom, um, she takes it as serious as I take it, so she's very, very supportive. Yeah, they're all supportive of me. I mean, they work behind me and make everything happen. Good to know. Where do you see yourself in the future? Ultimately, at the, at the peak of your career. Oh, for me, if I can just continue doing good movies that uh, the public will love and enjoy, and then something that will inspire people and get upcoming ones should we expect it yeah. uh, should we expect a producer Christabel? for that i can say i just enjoy being an artist for now i, I can't really tell them that so for me it's about staying relevant for uh, a reasonable period of time that's for me a, a good goal or an ultimate goal mm. of an artist talking about staying relevant would you say that i mean at the point of time when jobs are not coming in or you are not being seen too much on the screen you would want to get into production to put yourself in your own movies. Um, would that be would that be a reason for you to produce movies? No, that wouldn't be a reason for me to produce mm. movies. I wouldn't produce movies because I want to be in the movie. Mm. But if I'm inspired to do a movie, then it is probably a story that I want to tell. I may not even be in the movie. Maybe that I will use other people okay. or upcoming artists or something. Mm. But not necessarily because I want to be in the movie. That point hasn't come yet. Say, or what would you say? What is the factor that has has pushed us, has helped you? What what inspires you? What 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 motivates you to keep going higher? What what motivates you to keep going better? What is the secret to your to your to your being here at the stage or level? A, a lot of prayers. What is the drive? A lot yeah, of prayers. A lot of prayers, and I, I have the innate feeling that I was called for it. Okay. Because uh, I always think of why I started, and I think of the passion that drove me to go for it and the sacrifices that I put into it, the things that I have sacrificed, the things that I've lost just to be in this. Yeah, in this. So it keeps driving me to go higher and then just the pleasure of people watching my movie mm -hmm. or seeing a story being told in a very beautiful That's way. Right. Is, is just inspired by an artist. Would you say that God has brought you here? Are you a believing Christian? Do you do you say that would you say that you owe everything that you are? At this point in time, to God? Everything. My existence, my being, everything. You don't think that is by virtue of the fact that you can act? God gave me talent to act. Christabel, what is the ideal man for you? Uh, a man who loves me and is God fearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when a man loves you, I feel like he can give you the world. And if he's God fearing, there will be limits to what he can do to offend or hurt you. So if you get somebody who loves you and is God fearing and is illiterate, <laughs> would you date that person? As long as the person is wise. Yeah, yeah being illiterate only means maybe you don't have formal education, but not having formal education doesn't mean you don't you, you can't contribute anything to the society. Because I'm asking that because most of the time you find ladies who are graduates, you know, not settling for less when it comes to People, um, educational backgrounds of their, of their partners. Yeah, I mean, probably because, How would you reason with that fellow? I think maybe because uh, the level of the mind, they want people they can be able to communicate with in terms of uh, educational level. Exactly. Uh, definitely, I want a man I can communicate with. So once we can, com there's communication, he loves me, and yeah, it, it, it does it for me. So let's say you get a man who is God fearing and loves you and is jobless. Jobless, he has to find a job. <laughs> so, 
So at the end of the day, that, do you think money plays a role? Does money play a part in, in the kind of man that you, you, you would even want to settle with? Um, money plays a part in everybody's life. It makes everybody comfortable. Is that the ultimate thing for you? No, no. But I want my man to be comfortable for his own self. confidence. Okay. Yeah, and his own self and his own ego. And his own interest. Yeah, and his own interest. So, but it's not really the ultimate thing for me. Not because you want to have the latest bag. So you wouldn't want him to be rich just because you want to have the latest bag? No, 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 no. I want him to be rich for, for him to be comfortable and be able to be confident in being with me. Mm. And uh, not just the latest. If you have the latest bag and you can't communicate with your man, he doesn't love you, then there's no relationship. Indeed. Yeah, he just exists in the house. That being said, who is the lucky man in your life? Mm, I can't reveal it. You can't reveal it while you're in a relationship? Yeah, yeah. Is, is he all that you ever wished for in a man? <laughs> and more. And more? Yeah. There are currently no regrets. No. You don't see yourself walking out of the relationship? I haven't considered that. Everything is rosy between you and him. <laughs> Life is not rosy. I'm okay. I'm just okay where I am. Yeah. Do you think that it's even okay for for, for an actress of your caliber to even be in a relationship because I hear a lot of actresses say it ties you down to some extent um, do you agree to that school of thought? do you think that being in a relationship as an actress or even as an entertainer ties you down in any way? no, that's why it depends on who you're in a relationship with and as a person I believe in having your own values mm. yeah, if you value relationship and being there for each other there will be an extent to which you do everything okay. you find there will be times where you have to sacrifice there will be times where you have to do something and you have to consider that there's another person in your life so mm. if you're ready to to place some value on your relationship uh, it, it, makes, it makes you happy fine mm. but I don't really see it as tying you down mm. you do things because they make you happy mm. so maybe the person makes you happy and you want to please them in a way fine but I don't really see it as tying you down so you're okay being in a relationship yeah how do you unwind if you're not working, going about your busy schedules? How do you unwind? What do you do in your leisure time? Well, when I'm not in this, I love going to the spa. Okay. Yeah, I love the spa a lot. And when I'm not there, I stay at home, watch a lot of movies. I massage myself. I relax, play music, you know, just talk. To what kind of music do you listen to? I listen to a lot of music, hip hop, and I love dance hall. And when I want to be slow, maybe R&B. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite dance or artist currently? Uh, currently, uh, I love the Shata. Shata our old Shata, Shata Wale. I like Vibes Cartel. I, I was a, I've been a crazy fan of Sean Paul ever since. Mm, ever since he came on. Yeah. So yeah, dance all does it for me. Christabel, it's been great talking to you. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the Wish you all the best. Thank mm. you. Keep up the good work. Hello, I'm Christabel AK and I want you to keep watching Star Mirror.